Uh, here's a movie I really enjoy. <laughs> For the longest time, I avoided this movie. Because it, it just looks stupid to me. Like, And I know that's kind of weird hearing from me. <laughs> Since I really like stupid things. But... What it was, was uh, I saw the cover for this movie, and it was a cover of a guy in a martial arts gi. He was wearing a martial arts uniform, and he had a pair of sunglasses on. <laughs> and it just, it just looked not that interesting to me. So I always avoided it. <laughs> Then one day, I saw the trailer for this movie for the first time. And in that trailer, the main character says, Jiu-Jitsu sucks. And (laughs) that made me laugh. So that's what got me to watch this movie at last. And I had no idea this movie was about Taekwondo. (laughs) I would have watched it a lot. Actually, I think I did know this movie was about Taekwondo. I think that's why I didn't watch it for so long. Because I I assumed this movie was just going to make fun of Taekwondo the whole time or make it look stupid. But it's actually the complete opposite. (laughs) This is a movie about a guy that genuinely loves Taekwondo. And uh, this part was really funny to me. Like that beginning part where they put their hands together. Because the instructor just immediately says a bunch of cuss words. Which is just, you know, you just don't see that happen. (laughs) Yeah, I really like... The main character is played by Danny McBride. And I think he's pretty funny. I I always thought he was a funny guy. And he's the instructor of this school. And he's about to break a lot of bricks with his elbow. (laughs) And he he, he succeeds. But not without saying, ow, fuck. (laughs) I believe he succeeds. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, he didn't break the last brick. And that always hurts. (laughs) <laughs> I can see why I said Ow oh, fuck and, uh, I liked I liked what he said In the beginning of the film Like this is my life Like these are potential Because they, they just gave A demonstration to a crowd And the main character Was like Don't fuck this up for me <laughs> These are potential clients. And uh, this is the, you know, obviously this is the beginning credits. And just by watching this beginning credits, I know for, like, I just got a feeling whoever directed this movie knew what it was like to take Taekwondo in America. (laughs) That you're seeing all kinds of people here. We got little kids, we got middle-aged people, we got really old people, we got fat people. (laughs) We got all kinds of people here, and that's what it's like in America. (laughs) When you go to a Taekwondo school in America, you just see all kinds of people of different sizes and ages. Over at Korea, you would only see really fit, skinny dudes. (laughs) This is a decently large class. <laughs> he, the main character is doing pretty good for himself. And they, they speak in... They say a lot of Korean words when they do class. Just like they do. Like the, this movie is pretty authentic. <laughs>
even down to the way they pronounce the Korean words. <laughs> and then immediately, like, he just uh, like this is his wife, <laughs> the main character's wife. <laughs> the wife called him a retard in front of all the class, and just saying the f word and all that. Like these characters are not afraid to say the cuss words. <laughs> And she's just totally disrespecting him in all sorts of ways in front of the class. She's wearing shoes in class too. And like you're not supposed to use like wear shoes inside the dojang. That's what the Koreans like like the word for dojo is dojang in Korea. And this is a this is a, a movie star that he admires. <laughs> he has a poster of him in his dojang and this star, this celebrity's name is Chuck the Truck <laughs> he's an 8 year kickboxing champion as well as a movie star and his student was like who do you think would win between Bruce Lee and Chuck and it was like the Chuck easily <laughs> yep, now they're practicing some sparring and the teacher's telling them not to punch the face like they do. This is a a lot of this movie is just awkward and I, I really like awkward humor. <laughs> I like it when things are weird and dumb and this movie has a lot of weird dumb parts in it. <laughs> I assume almost none of you have seen this movie. <laughs> it's not exactly a popular movie. You probably didn't even know this movie existed. <laughs> and this is where they're having a little dinner with their fr two friends. And uh, the main character is always afraid of, of of his wife. Like that's his wife, not girlfriend. He's always afraid of her cheating on him. <laughs> and right here is like, so will you stop flirting with the guy? Like, <laughs> And he looks at the boyfriend and is like, I got my eye on you. And he's like, I was just fucking with you, man. Like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where he's like, oh, fuck, we forgot to say grace. And now they're all holding hands, and he's doing a little prayer. It's like, Jesus Christ, thank you for this food that we're about to eat that I bought myself. <laughs> And this is where the main character is talking to a potential client. She's thinking about joining. And she's a cute blonde. And this is the part where he says jujitsu sucks. <laughs> and he's got all kinds of credentials in his office. Like he's he's quite the martial artist. <laughs> He's won several tournaments. And this is where the girl is like, I heard yoga is really good. I heard jujitsu is really good. It's like jujitsu sucks. <laughs> this is where she talks about yoga, and he's like, but. Yoga is nice and all, but it's not going to save you from a gang rape type situation. <laughs> Meditate on that. Rape. <laughs> and this is where he starts showing off like a bunch of trophies he won with her. And she's like, wow, you must be really good. Uh, here I thought you were a joke. <laughs> yep, 
he's the North American champion. And that's that's a pretty big feat. <laughs> I've made fun of martial artists in, in Minnesota before, but California, man, the, the, California has a lot of good martial artists. <laughs> Those are the guys that I'm afraid of. Every time I'm I'm invited, like. <laughs> This is where he's about to demonstrate a little lesson here and in, in, in Taekwondo and most martial arts schools I assume is that he's, t he's gonna teach like a basic combination it's like block with your right hand punch with your left then do a side kick <laughs> so this is a little routine they're about to practice and this student this is the biggest guy in the class. He's the bully. <laughs> and the bully is like, it only worked because it's a. <laughs> it only worked because you told me to do this. And she knew it was coming. And the teacher is like, okay, just do whatever the hell you feel like then. But I think the, the combination is still going to work, hot shot. I don't think you're going to like how this turns out. <laughs> and the woman that's that's doing the combination, she's a really old lady. Now the bully's about to throw a strike, and it completely goes through her block and punches her in the face. <laughs> cool. <laughs> then he kicks her in the stomach. And the teacher's like, is she alive? <laughs> Check her pulse, please. <laughs> I love this part. The wife just got home. And the main character's hiding. And he's ready to do like a stupid surprise on her with a knife. <laughs> he jumps out in front of her and goes, fuck you! <laughs> The wife is like, God, you're stupid. God. It's like, how was your first day at work, honey? And every time they have conversations like this, like she's just having the worst day and the husband's always having a good day because he's doing well. She's always doing bad. <laughs> and this is where the husband is like, Hey, uh, so I'm getting this new blonde student. She's pretty cute. <laughs> She's into yoga and college and stuff, you know. And the wife is like, what, are you trying to make me jealous or something? No, I just thought, you know, like maybe you could go to college and get into yoga and stuff. I don't know. Just, just thought I'd mention it. And it's like, and she goes, I got some education. It's like. And the husband's like, I got some education too, darling. It's like, I got four degrees. <laughs> and she goes, that's, the black belt degree doesn't count. And the uh, husband goes, you know, you don't have a degree at all, so shut the fuck up. This is where he, uh, they're going to go out for dinner and you see the back of his car and his license plate says TKD King, Taekwondo King. <laughs> <laughs> and he drives around like an interesting Porsche. I wouldn't quite call it nice, <laughs> but it's fancy. Like you can tell it's an expensive one. This is where, like, if the husband just embarrasses the wife all the time by doing stupid shit in public. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the wife is always dressed up really hoey. Like, she's always in mini skirts and. Like, she's a real hoe. <laughs> the husband has legitimate reasons why he's always paranoid that she's cheating on him. I really doubt YouTube's gonna let me show you this movie too, but I felt like talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> this part's funny. He's having one of his black belt students who's a little kid. He's holding a board for him and he screwed up on he didn't hold the board that tightly, so he made the teacher look bad when he tried to break it. <laughs> Now he's giving him shit. It's like, it's like how, they're all eating. Him and all of his students are eating pizza, and it's like, how much pizza have you had, Julio? How about you've had enough? <laughs> <laughs> this is where he talks to his best student. His best student is almost a black belt, and he's like, "Hey, you're getting pretty close to black belt. Ever thought about becoming my assistant?" And uh, and uh, another another student who is a black belt, he goes, "Well, how come I'm not an assistant? How come you never asked me?" Cause, and he goes, "Shut the hell up!" <laughs> and uh. The best student, he's got a self-confidence issue. He gets picked on all the time, and that's pretty much why he joined. <laughs> and I've I've seen plenty of that. A lot of weaker, not confident kids joining Taekwondo to learn how to kick some ass. But Taekwondo takes a lot of practice before you can actually use it in combat. <laughs> like a lot so you better be at least a black belt like before you can actually use it in combat <laughs> so a lot of those whiny you know kids that get picked on all the time you know, a lot of them end up getting beat up anyways I've seen it before it's real sad <laughs> This is where the wife returns from work. And the husband is looking through her. Like she works at some office now. And the husband is looking through her work work papers. And it's not work papers at all. It's a bunch of Xerox copies of her butt and boobs. <laughs> Just her boobs and butt pressed against the copying machine. And he's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> now he's starting to see a bunch of other men. And he's like, what the fuck is this? And the, the wife confesses like, all right, I, I was fooling around with some of them. And he goes, well, what did, what did you do? What do you mean by fooling around? And the wife goes, I... Like, this part is funny, because, like, the wife goes, I gave him a hand job, and, like, the camera work and, like, this intense music starts playing, and it's, like, really funny. And the husband is like, so you stroked off some dude to fit in. <laughs> and she she confesses that the guy's name is Fisher. And one of his students, one of the main character's students, is a little kid. And his last name is Fisher as well. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's so fucked up, but it's kind of funny though. Because he, he decides to spar that kid. <laughs> <laughs> and he starts humiliating him. It's like, the problem with little Fisher here, 
He has no defense at all. His defense sucks. And he just keeps on hitting him over and over again. <laughs> then, I believe... it. You, you guys ever seen one of these? These are what you call Bob. I forgot what it stands for, but... the These dummies are really... They're, they're in every martial arts school, school I swear. <laughs> it's a training dummy with just a torso and a head. And they're practicing those punches. They're all kicking the pads. And the... The... The main character is just in a terrible mood. Like he's just got, he's he's just limp right now. He's just in a terrible mood, <laughs> and he lets, and he lets the little kid that's a black belt run the class, and he's he's completely lost control of the class. It's just a McDonald's playground out there now. Everybody's throwing all the pads around and shit, and jump ropes and just everything. <laughs> <laughs> this part is funny. The the little kid that's the black belt that was in charge of class, he's he came to the main main character and he's like, Hey, I lost control of the class and the main character goes, Listen, I gotta tell you something. It's like this world is a dark, dark place and every person is shit. And when you have a wife you watch her. <laughs> And he goes, and in the end, the only person you can trust is me, your Taekwondo instructor. <laughs> and this is where the main character is like, who's causing all the problems? It's like, little Fisher, little Stevie Fisher. All right, let me have a talk with him. <laughs> And this is where him and the little little Fisher kid they're sparring now and he just keeps on hitting his head over and over again. He's got no defense. Look at this. Look at the frustration in his little Stevie Fisher eyes. <laughs> and this is where the little kid kicks him in the stomach and it's actually a decent kick and it hurts him. <laughs> Gives him a back kick, and back kicks always hurt. <laughs> and this is where the main character is so pissed that he does a tornado kick to his head. A little kid. <laughs> and the mom saw that, and she's just pissed as hell out of it. It's like, what the fuck? And the main character is like, well, you know what happened with your husband and my wife? My wife gave your husband a hand job. <laughs> and the wife is like, what are you talking about? My my husband is dead. And the main character is like, you're making this awkward. <laughs> Oh, I, th I think I'm about to do.